Going into his fight with Daniel Jacobs, there was a monster amongst men who looked destined to become one of the all-time great middleweights. Just listen to his record. Next up on the scales, 36 fights, 36 victories, 33 wins by knockout, 23 knockouts in a row. He comes to us from Kazakhstan, lives, fights, and trains in California, USA. The universally recognized middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Gennadyovich Golovkin, AKA Triple G. But following Gennady Golovkin's bout with Dent, the boxing world started to wonder just how good Triple G was, because that was the first fight in which Golovkin looked human. And then Canelo Alvarez made him look possibly beatable before actually beating him in their rematch. So was Gennady as good as we thought he was? Or was he only good when he was kicking cans? According to his trainer, Abel Sanchez, Triple G was the best. Oh, he's number one. Uh, he's uh, probably the most uh, prolific uh, puncher that I've ever had. He's probably the, the more, one of the more intelligent fighters that I've ever had. Uh, the, one of the hardest workers, uh, but in order to be at this stage, in order to be where he's at, all those things ha have to be in the gym. Golovkin is unique in several ways. The first is that he's got one of the best chins in history. He had 350 amateur fights and never hit the canvas once. After 43 pro fights, he'd barely been rocked. But more than that, it's his unique hybrid fighting style. I have a lot of friends, a lot of spy partners from Mexico. Mexico City and Mexico, you know. This is like a bonus. Mexican style like a bonus, no for people, because I have, I had good experience with Soviet Union style, you know, from American style, and right now, Mexican style. Mexican style is like a extra, like a action, you know, like a true fight. Warrior fight. You now, if you want to watch dramatic show, you know, action, please watch my fight. First, he has the discipline, power, and extremely well drilled techniques of the Eastern European and Soviet fighters. Then, he added the aggression and constant pressure of the Mexican style. Combined, he became a nightmare and quickly secured three of the four belts, all with knockouts to get everyone asking just how good he might actually be. That's when he fought the WBA's regular champ, Danny Jacobs. The American was going to be his hardest challenger yet, a tall, well-rounded puncher with real skill and determination and enough grit to give Golovkin a fight. But like everyone else, he wasn't supposed to survive. Instead, Golovkin had to go the full 12 rounds for the first time in his career, and Jacobs won his share of rounds too. Maybe Golovkin wasn't the new god of boxing after all. For Triple G, even though he had three of the four belts, he still needed to prove without question that he was the best middleweight in the world, and there was only one way to do that. He needed to face the Mexican superstar, Canelo Alvarez. At the time, Canelo was a junior middleweight, but he was a beast who had been crumpling opponents for years. In particular, his counterpunching and combinations, combined with his speed and ring IQ, made him the pound-for-pound -pound number one in the eyes of many. Golovkin got the fight, and it was set to be huge. This was a battle for more than just belts. It was a battle for the mantle of best boxer on the planet, and Triple G's chance at proving his greatness. Just ask the former champ come fight promoter, Oscar De La Hoya. This will be the fight of the decade. I believe um, Gennady Golovkin and, 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 uh, and Canelo Alvarez um, are in the fight of their life. I mean, this is for all the marbles. This is for supremacy. The two squared off and it was awesome. Golovkin didn't take a step back. Canelo countered with precision and both men boxed like their lives depended on it. By the end, Golovkin had landed far more punches, and most pundits felt he'd won the fight. Not the judges, though. A three-way split 
This is officially a draw. This is terrible for sport, for boxing. You know, I'm a champion. This is biggest fight for, for boxing. You know, if these Dodgers, you know, like, like today, this is terrible. Unbelievable, unbelievable. After that, something seemed off about Golovkin's performances. They fought again to settle the score, except it was even closer. They still went another 12 grueling rounds, but Canelo was announced the winner by majority decision. So did Canelo learn from the first bout, or did Golovkin lose a step? Yeah, no, Golovkin is, is one strong individual. He can take the punch, he can give the punch, but let me tell you one thing, nobody is invincible. I strongly feel that, that uh, you know, uh, that, that, that Golovkin um, um, has his, his flaws, and, and obviously it's up to Canelo to figure them out. After that, he scored some more knockouts against lesser opponents, but against the Ukrainian Sergei Derevyanchenko, who went to a split decision against Jacobs, Golovkin won, but he got hurt more times than when he fought Canelo and some scored it to Derevyanchenko. In Triple G's four fights against his four highest leveled opponents, the fearsome beast who was on a trajectory for all time middleweight greatness went two, one, and one. So how would he stack up to the other men in contention for that title? There's been some of the best fights have ever came down in the middleweight division. Hearns, Hagler, Leonard, Duran, of course, the great Bernard Hopkins reigning as undisputed middleweight champion. Where does Canelo Triple G rate with all these mega fights in your eyes? You're absolutely right. So many great people, so many great champions, say in middleweight division, yeah. I think this is first step to history, the same, like a long time ago. Like Triple G said, there have been so many great champions in his division and it will be his nemesis, Canelo Alvarez, who many will think of as the best middleweight of their generation. But Golovkin beat all comers in his era, including Canelo on at least one occasion, according to most people. So was Triple G as good as we thought? You bet he was. But age catches up with everyone, and you can't let that diminish the legacy of a legend. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.